scientific introduction to the polar bear. Fundamental facts about the polar bear. Um, they're really big, horizontally and vertically. They're about double my size, about two to three meters. And they're really heavy too. They live between 15 and 18 years on average. And they live in really cold places like Norway, Alaska, Russia, Canada, Greenland. The life of the polar bear. Polar bears tend to mate in spring and summer. Um, after birth, they live with their parents for two months where they learn everything they need to for their own lives. They're really fast, they can run as fast as Usain Bolt, and around average at land they travel around 10k per hour and in water about 6k. Which really helps because they are great predators. Here you can see a picture of a polar bear um, preying on a seal. That's like one of the common foods. They are adorable. Daring. Deadly. But declining in population. <laughs> okay, and this map shows us uh, where the population of polar bears are. As you can see, one two, three, four places where the population is increasing a stable and nine places where it's going down. Just to hit you with some uh, statistics. In 1980, the global population of polar bears was approximately 40,000. Now, it's around 20 to 25,000. Experts estimate a further 30% drop in the next 40 years, so that's about six to 8,000. <coughs> polar bears have been classified as vulnerable and endangered by the WWF. <laughs> the sources of decline. Why are polar bears dying out? One major factor is global warming. I'm sure you all know what global warming is. But global warming means that the ice caps will melt. This means the polar bears have to sw uh, swim more, but everybody says polar bears can swim, right? But polar bears have two layers of insulation, therefore any extra swimming will just overheat their bodies and they will die. And polar bear cubs are especially vulnerable because they take a while to learn how to uh, swim. Another factor is hunting. Indigenous populations hunt as part of their culture. However, nowadays, hunting is being done recreationally. This means as a sport. It's been banned in the US, but it's still not banned in Canada. It can be done legally. It needs to be stopped. Hunting is not a sport. It is a sport. Both sides know they're in the game. Four we really cannot overestimate this. Here's a galling picture of uh, the effects of polar bear hunting. A third factor is toxic pollutants. There are a lot of ships that travel in the Arctic Circle, and these ships use fuel which release pollutants. These directly affect the wildlife in the Arctic Circle. They contaminate any of the polar bear's food and make it hard for them to survive. Like seals, this means polar bears just die of starvation. <laughs> fighting for the preservation of polar bears. What can you do? What can we, as a school, do to help the polar bear? With great power comes great responsibility. You probably know that as Peter Parker wow. and Spider-Man or his Uncle Ben, but it was actually said by Franklin D. Roosevelt, President of America. You have the responsibility to help polar bears, but you also have the power. You and I know that we can do something to help the polar bears. WWF, the World Wildlife Fund, is supportive of the preservation of polar bears. And you can really support them if you want to help polar bears. You can donate money, or you can buy stuff like cards and toys, where the profit they make goes to helping polar bears. A word of warning. The WWF help many endangered species, such as snow leopards, mountain bat, grayback gorillas, you name it. If you donate money to the WWF, you can specify, you can say, okay, I want all this money to go towards the polar bears and they will do that for you.
Also, WWF say that only 9% of the money you donate goes to administrative causes. That's like for lighting and bureaucracy and stuff like that. But 91% goes to the polar bears, which is really good. Better than other organizations. What else can you do? You can raise your voice, like we're doing. You can raise awareness on the preservation of polar bears. You, you yourself can become more eco-friendly, you know, you can cycle to school, you can eat less meat, I don't know. <laughs> um, but you can help stop climate change individually. This will be a positive impact because it will help preserve the habitats. You can support movements against something if it's still legal in Canada. Okay, we'll begin. Now, as you probably know, me, Hope, Alexander and Emma in MP5B, we've been raising money for Breast Cancer UK, like we talked to you about in the previous assembly. And what we've been doing for the past week is we've been sitting over there, we've had this jug, and the deal is you pay us 50 cents and you can write a little dare on a piece of paper and put it in here. And then now we will each pick out one and do it. And we've decided that, that because tomorrow is April Fool's Day, that it's a good day today for us to pick them out in front of all of you, make this a kind of school-spirited thing, because this is something really exciting for us. So what we want to do is now just, I know you're all tired and you might not be as excited about this as we are, but as some of you have actually done it, I think it would be a good idea to, have, to call one of you guys up to pick out some dares for us. Is anyone willing to do it? <laughs> okay, now the deal is you're All of these, none of these dares, none of them we're gonna, we're not gonna do any of them today. We will do all of them tomorrow, and if that's not possible, then we'll definitely do them sometime this week. Or in the following week. But you know what? <laughs>